What's up, gang? It's not what I wanted. That's what I want. All right. Hey, less than a month until uh, DBQ day. Okay. Hopefully you're still doing your work. Your unit five or excuse me, three, four packets to do tonight. Review stuff. A little bit of time every day. <clears throat> Don't kill yourself with it, but you should be able to get it done. No problem. Okay. A few things. Number one. Uh, if you are a finger typer, like some of you might the tick, 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 and need to learn how to do this, uh, here's a pretty good little uh, little thing that's spelled there by the people at Fiveable. A little bit of time a day might save you a little bit of time on May 22nd. Okay, just throwing it out there. Don't have to use it, obviously. Uh, everyone needs to check this, especially if you have accommodations. Make sure you go in and log in and make sure you're getting your accommodations, extended time, whatever that case may be, okay? You need to log in. If you don't get what you're looking for, you need to let myself or Mrs. Eisner know at school. Uh, everybody, regardless of the accommodations or not, needs to go here to make sure you can log in. Okay, I will send you another one out, um, another link out next week. I just got it today from Dr. Velker um, regarding your account. Just make sure you can log in. That's what they're going to be using the day of, we need to troubleshoot that earlier uh, than later. We want to be doing that May 21st. Okay, we want to troubleshoot that stuff right now. All right. Uh, your DBQ debriefings. I've talked with a lot of you. I've still got several of you tomorrow. Uh, on the whole, I feel really good about these. I mean, I feel really good. There's a lot of you who are at that five and above, and that's what we think is going to be the passing mark. Okay. Uh, those of you that aren't, it's little things. Get on YouTube and look for resources. Uh, go to albert.io. I know they've got reading or uh, writing prompts. You can you can practice some writing on there. I think they can even grade them or give you examples that are on there. Okay. Uh, not everybody did it, and I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed in those of you who didn't. Now, if you have extenuating circumstances, that's one thing. If you just forgot, uh, no. You're not forgetting your AP exam coming up in a month that you've spent the last seven months working toward. I don't buy that. You just didn't do it. Okay. I make these videos on a weekly basis, and you guys know this stuff's coming out. You should have written the DBQ. I'm not taking them. Don't bother writing it now. It's done. It's been nine days. I'm not grading anymore. It's over and done with. Okay, You should have done the work we're supposed to be doing. I can take the horse to water. I can't make the horse drink. But if you'd rather drink somebody else's water, that's fine by me. This is not Flint, Michigan water. This water here is lead-free. Okay, I give you all the tools in my tool belt, uh, but if you want to be Tim Allen... Tim the tool man Taylor, have your own tools, go for it. All I care about is you pass the AP exam, and I'm going to give you everything I can to make that happen. Uh, if you don't want to do it, I, I, that's fine. I mean, it's it's your life, kid. Uh, I can't make you do it, but I'm disappointed that some of you didn't take the opportunity to get a little bit of practice in, okay? Speaking of, on Thursday, 2 p.m., Thursday at 2 p.m., I'm going to send you a prompt. We're all together on Google Hangouts at 2 p.m., I will send you a prompt. You'll have one hour to write a DBQ on Thursday. That's at 2 p.m. on Thursday. Okay? 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Hook them horns. All right? You'll have one hour. Uh, submit it. Write it. Turn it in. And go from there. We'll get them graded soon. Uh, get them back to you. And we'll do the same thing we did today. We'll, or this past week, we'll get everybody together. And I'll, uh, you know, those of you that are, are not scoring well, those of you that are like below sevens, uh, I'll probably ask you to sign up. If you're getting sevens, eights, nines on a regular basis, there's no need for you and I to talk. I can send you guys an email uh, and just kind of, you know, hey, you scored an eight, you missed this point. Okay, you scored a nine, you missed this point. If you score a nine, you got it all right. We're not giving any points for complexity. Okay. Uh, another thing, uh, don't worry about highlighting. A couple of you did. You, you highlighted it. Don't worry about that. We don't need that anymore right now. Um, and if you write this on either type it or handwrite it, Make sure you put your name on it, okay? Probably if you're typing it, put it on a header so we can see it every page. It gets confusing sometimes whose page is who. Uh, the other thing, if you're going to handwrite this in May, handwrite it now. Get used to that. If you're going to type it in May, type it now, okay? Whichever you're going to do on test day, do it now. Do not practice like you're not going to play. doesn't make any sense, okay? doesn't make any sense. Uh, so make sure you stay on top of the game with your AMSCO. Make sure you're watching your Ed Puzzles. Make sure you're checking in on Freemanpedia's 80-day countdown. And make sure you're watching that goofy guy right there, Heimler History, 
Uh, I'll get your unit five sent out to you here in a little bit. Uh, you have those due this week. Don't try to kill yourselves watching hours a day. Watch what you need to watch. Get them done. Okay, watch those Ed puzzles. It's easy points in your grade book, and we'll go from there. If you have any questions, email me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, otherwise, we'll talk to you soon. Hope you guys are staying cool and clean and virus-free. And we'll chat soon, guys. We'll see you.